Um, all these things we got to do, right? So if you're new, my name is James Lamprey. I am the host of Fun Foods, Fun Foods YT across all platforms except for Twitch, which is just Fun Foods. I make interesting uh, foods and desserts for the most part. And uh, that's what we'll be doing tonight. And typically on Tuesday nights, I do a live stream at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, the rest of the time I do videos I upload every Saturday and Sunday every Saturday is a Mountain Dew related recipe every Sunday is just a normal recipe hello everyone on YouTube hello <laughs> oh, hi hi everyone so um, I was just doing a little thing for our friends at Twitch so let me angle this right I gotta fix the lighting Okay, a little better. Okay, guys, so here's what we're going to be making. We're going to be making this strawberry shortcake dessert. Check it out. It's basically just um, shortcake, like a sponge cake. I can't even talk. Uh, it's basically just sponge cake. It's strawberries and Cool Whip. And it's so simple, easy. It's low calorie, too. Um, I believe the shortcake itself is around 100 calories. The Cool Whip you're using 25 calories or so uh the strawberries or whatever they are i don't even know <laughs> but uh it's strawberries fruit right can't be too bad so how's everyone doing on the, this tuesday night uh charge your phone yes charge your phone janice <laughs> hi jj blog hi hannah i will be answering comments over on youtube so if you're watching this on you now or any or twitch Thank you for watching. Also, use that free spin if you're watching on You Now. I haven't been on You Now forever. <laughs> um, hi, Megan. Hi, Asian Ways. Hello. Um, <laughs> Nathan says goodbye. Oh, no. Sorry. Um, so, Jarrett Worthing. Sup, James. Hey. Oh, Kara says strawberries. Oh, Byron. How are you doing, buddy? So yeah, these are amazing. It's a lot of fun to do, uh, and we're gonna make them right now. Uh, it's very simple. We're gonna do it very simple way. We're not gonna be, um, uh, you now isn't working. Oh no. Um, says I'm live over there, and there's some people on it. It's on under guys, and it's there's some people who watched. There's one viewer on my you now. <laughs> so it, it's interesting, but hey. You're hungry now. I, I am too, actually. And, um, yeah, I'm rather hungry as well. <laughs> so how is everyone tonight? Hopefully everyone's doing well. We are... Hi, James. How are you? Uh, I'm almost done with high school. So Adam is Adam's awesome project is almost done with high school. Well, congratulations, Adam. I'm glad you're almost done in a way. Um, although, you know, we all want high school to end, and once it ends, we just want to go back to school for some reason. It's what we do. <laughs> all right, so uh, two people are watching on you now. Hello, welcome. We're going to be making the strawberry shortcake. Really good, easy thing to make. If you haven't used a free spin yet, go ahead and use it. Um, oh, an applause. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. M M H H J J. <laughs> Uh, you should make Mountain Dew cotton candy. So someone says I should make Mountain Dew cotton candy. Um, yeah, that would that would be good. I I should do that for real. That'd be fun. So uh, a couple of people are watching now. Hey, I'm doing well uh, on YouTube. Are you now? People are all asking me how am I doing. So I'm just saying I'm doing well. I have two different cameras going here. Over here, you guys are you now. Over here, you are YouTube. Also, the you now is also Twitch and a bunch of things. So, um, let's see on my stream health, it says. There's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> but, oh, pizza. Yeah, I love the little pizza emoji thing over there on you now. So, what do you say we get to making this? And I'll show you the things we need. It's pretty simple. Um, it doesn't require much. Also, if you haven't used your free spin yet, go ahead and use that. I would love to get a free spin over on you now. So back to the comments on YouTube. Uh, Great Falls, Montana. This weather in Montana feels like cold mountains. It's cold there. Oh, no. I'm sorry. It's cold there. Shout you out, Joseph Brenner. All right, so let's angle our cameras down here because we're going to get to making this stuff. 
and let me get all my wires out of the way right let's get all that stuff out of the way so what we're gonna do I'm gonna put this aside this is the thing. to make this here is what we need now you can make your own sponge cake but I just bought this at the store these are amazing they're really simple and they're already prepared you know if you want to make your own sponge cake you can certainly do that so hello on you now, the people who are watching. We're going to be making this strawberry shortcake sponge cake. I should just keep this up here just so people can see what it's going to look like at the end. This is what it's going to look like at the end. So anyone who's coming on, I'll leave it right here to the side so everyone can see. It's a very simple recipe. Um, plush times wins. Hello. How are you, my friends? Um, hopefully you're going to VidCon. I'll see you next week if you are. Definitely, um, my friends over at you now. So hello, I met them last year at VidCon. They're really nice people. They have like an arcade game, uh, arcade, um, like they play arcade games and stuff like that. They also have cooking too on their other channel. So it's really cool. Uh, some people over on YouTube are saying um, Mountain Dew Rice Krispies. That's a good suggestion. A couple of people have suggested that. I guess because I made the Mountain Dew marshmallows, so it'll fit perfectly. <laughs> uh, again, to getting back to what we need. So here's what we need to make this. We have the sponge cake. You can make it yourself or just buy it like this. Cool Whip. You could also make it yourself by using heavy whipping cream and whipping it up. But this is a live broadcast. We're going to do this the easy way. So that's a thing we can do. And then lastly, we need strawberries. That's it. Just three ingredients, really. Um, but you want to clean these and everything and cut them up Now I haven't cut up a whole bunch, but I did make this one earlier So I just cut up some of them just chop them up in little bits and pieces. You don't have to do much Let me set that aside. I'm running out of space <laughs> uh, Dave Roth says hi uh, Karen says it's 21 degrees there. Oh, no um, It's a little warmer here. That's the good news so, let's see. so here we go. We're going to start off. I'll just put a little plate right here. We're going to start off with one of these little sponge cakes. These are Tasty Cake sponge cakes. That's it. That's simple, right? Next, let's clean off a strawberry. And we're going to cut up a strawberry. I'm just going to move that aside. Even though I have some cut up, but you know, let's go through the motions here, right? I like to cut that off right like that and cut in half. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to read the comments. Oh, someone invited their fans, 494 fans. Thank you so much for inviting your fans. I really appreciate that. Um, we are mainly, I'm broadcasting across multiple platforms at the moment, YouTube being the main one, but I will look at other, uh, platforms like Twitch and you now Periscope, lots of stuff happening here. So you can cut these as big or as small as you like. I like to cut them nice and small. And, um, the reason why is just because a little bite size. And this is a small thing. And like I said, it's kind of a low calorie dessert here because that's about 100 calories, the sponge cake. And the Cool Whip we're gonna use is roughly 25 to 50 calories depending on how, how much we use on it. Now, you can build this any way you want construction wise. I'm like taking some of these and just filling, because it has a little indent there, filling up that with some of our strawberries and do some more so it takes about one strawberry maybe a little less depends on how much you put in there of course right next up cool whip now you can just take a dollop of this and smack it on there but because we got to make our food look good right because we're making this i'm putting it in a bag now i used this bag earlier to make our main one here so i can show everyone so I'm going to put it in a piping bag. That way we can make it look good. There we go. Should be good enough for now. And if you get some on the end, just scrape it off and eat it. 
That's the best part. <laughs> now, we, I have a very large uh, opening here, just because. All right, let me get to the comments. Um, Joseph Brenner says, hey, cool whip, uh, cool chemicals is that vegan. I doubt it's vegan, but I don't know for sure. Um, again, you can just make heavy whip, whipping cream. Of course, that wouldn't be vegan either. Um, heavy whipping cream whipped up, whisked up a lot will make Cool Whip. Uh, you said my name wrong. Oh, did I? Joseph Burner. Is that right? Burner. Hopefully I got it right this time. I just read quickly. Sorry. <laughs> Norton Family. Hi. How are you doing, Norton Family? There is nothing fun about this shortcake. I don't get it. There's nothing fun? Well, mm, oh well. Sometimes it isn't. You should make Mountain Dew jelly beans and have either flavor or Mountain Dew. Hmm. Oh, so good. Uh, you love watching me live. Thank you. I, I'm glad you're here. Okay, so now we've constructed this. So we have our shortcake. We have our strawberries. Now what I'm going to do is, like I said, you can just spoon out the Cool Whip or you can... Pipe it on. There we go. That's good. And if you really want to make it look good, just for aesthetic purposes, you can put a little strawberry on there. And that's a, that's simple. I mean, it doesn't get much simpler than that. Let me angle my camera back up. So that's about as simple as it gets. But I just wanted to do something fun. And we're going to keep going, and if, as always, you can always ask me questions, and I'll try to answer them best I can. Um, but we've got a lot going on. Next week, I won't be doing a live from my kitchen. I'll be doing a live, if I can, from VidCon. Next week is VidCon. It really starts on when, well, Wednesday, Thursday. I'll be traveling, though. Tuesday morning, I'll be on a plane heading out. So... <laughs> Uh, I won't be here, of course, so I won't be able to do a live stream here, but I will do a live stream from my phone or from my laptop at VidCon at California Anaheim. Maybe I'll do it from Disney. Who knows? Uh, we'll see how things go and see what I do. So if any of y'all are going to VidCon, let me know. I would love to see you there. Say hi. Um, that's always a good thing. Uh, so let's recap what we made for anyone who came in late. So this is what we made strawberry shortcake dessert and it's roughly we'll say 150 calories for each one and uh it's just a light dessert and you know what we're gonna eat this because i'm hungry and i really want to eat this thank you it looks delicious malaya thank you so much i appreciate that comment um yeah so it's it's just a lot of fun so i'm gonna get a fork a knife and which one should I eat? This one or that one? <laughs> uh, come to Massachusetts next. <laughs> I let's see. I've been to Massachusetts. Ah, I can't even talk Massachusetts once, I believe, but not for long. Just for a short period of time. You live in Anaheim. Awesome. Wild Husky lives in Anaheim. That's cool. I don't know if you're going to VidCon or not, but if you see me there, if you see me wandering around, say hi. I'd love to say hi. But that's always good. Um, angle that up a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, yeah, it's been forever since I've been on You Now, and I just did You Now just for fun. Um, looks cool. Barry McCall, McKinner, I think that's McKinner, I think. I think that's what you say. All right, so let's, yeah, let's eat. Mountain Dew cookie dough. That would be good. All right, so we're going to eat this, but um, let's cut this first. I'm just going to cut a piece off just so I'm not, like, shoveling the whole thing in my mouth and looking pretty bad on camera doing so. So let's uh, get a couple of little bites. So I like to get a little bit of everything. We got the strawberries. We got the Cool Whip, and we got the sponge cake. This is good. And if you can get any of that like strawberry juice to like 
go over it. Come to think of it. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I cover this with strawberry sauce? Do you think it'll make it better or worse? So let me know. Hit in that comment, tell me strawberry sauce, yes or no. Because I think, I think it'll look good. I'll add more straw sauce. Now, of course, this isn't going to be low calorie now. It's, it's, you're adding calories to this thing for sure. So yes, Malaya says yes. Uh, definitely, I should. Um, oh, thank you, Silent Traveler. Uh, the camera makes you look thinner. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. So Deb says no. Dave says yes. Yes for Wild Husky. You would eat both either way, huh? <laughs> yes, yes. More sugar, yes, of course. Uh, light drizzle of it. Okay, we'll see. Here, let me angle the camera down so you can actually see the drizzle of that. Yeah, I think it'll. I think it'll be a good little. All right, so we'll do a light drizzle of it and. Um, see how it goes wow <laughs> we'll try to <laughs> so much for that it's very liquidy so that is that with strawberry sauce and i'll tell you photo wise it probably would have been better if i did that that looks really good i might have to take a picture of that let me move that aside. <laughs> we got to get a picture of that, my friends. Hold on one second. Let me get a camera. Yep, definitely got to get a picture of that and get all this junk out of the way. And it helps if I turn the camera on, too. That might help. That's pretty good. Yeah, I thought I was doing good by getting the pictures ahead of time, and here I am having a better picture at the end. So I'm back. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so that really does look good. Let me give it to my YouTube audience first. You want to bite? Go ahead and take a bite. It looks pretty good. And then uh, over to you now. There you go. Twitch, all you guys. Yeah, it's pretty good. That looks pretty pretty darn good, I would say. Back up to me in the light. <laughs> cool. Um, let me get back to the comments. I kind of went through, yeah. Uh, try it on the side first. Yeah, I probably should have. Uh, art, yes. Food art, that's what it's all about. Yummy. <laughs> Um, grated chocolate would be nice too. Yeah, that would be. Yes, that would be nice as well. Grated chocolate with strawberries. Yeah, good idea, Hannah. Yes, I agree. Hannah comes up with some good ideas. I have to admit. Are you guys with me? <laughs> with the chocolate? <laughs> uh, Hannah stole my dear. Oh. Try to pronounce your name. Um, Paula. Ooh, this is a tough one. I would, I'm would, i going to guess you're either Swedish or Norwegian or um, is it uh, Sosberg or, or Jos, Josberg? I hope I'm saying that right. I don't even know if I'm close. Is it Josberg? Jo, Josberg? Uh, see, I don't know if the J is silent. And the O with the little dots above it, I don't know what it's called, but it probably has some sort of meaning <laughs> with editing everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, your grandson and you love my channel. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoy the channel. I enjoy making all the different stuff, um, especially tonight's dessert. And I have to try it with the strawberry sauce now, so we got to have a bite of that. It's, yeah, um, 
I still wouldn't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> I am horrible at pronouncing names, even like American sounding names, so I don't know. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna try this. This has the strawberry sauce on it. I think it's just gonna make it that much better. Mm -hmm. For sure does make it better so if you have strawberry sauce and you're not counting calories of course you can definitely do that with strawberry sauce mm -hmm. so yeah cool whip strawberry sauce it has fruit in it can't be bad <laughs> so yeah so again, anyone who's going to be at VidCon, if you're going to be there, be sure to say hi, say hello. Um, I can't wait because every year it is one of the fun events that I go to. And it's the biggest one. It's a lot of YouTube creators. Um, other creators are going to be there as well, not just YouTube. You have YouTube, you now, Twitch, people who are on Twitch, people who are... Um, well, used used to be Viners there, but uh, Vine doesn't really. Still, people who used to do Vine are there, but Vine doesn't really exist anymore. But uh, yeah, it's it's just a lot of fun. You go there, you have a good time. There's a couple parties I'll be going to afterwards, um, stuff like that, and um, yeah. All right, let me get back to the comments. Uh, you did good. There's a place in my local mall that sells cookie dough that you don't need to bake. Yes, uh, cookie dough is amazing by itself. And the way they do that is, I know I've made cookie dough before where I didn't bake the flour. And I know I get a lot of comments about that. Me personally, I don't care about that. Um, flour, the odds of getting salmonella or any other thing from flour or less than the odds of getting struck by lightning twice. So, you know, they put a big deal about it, but if you just look at the CDC reports, it's not as bad as the news makes it out to be. I, I don't cook the flour when I make my own cookie dough, but, um, you know, I get a lot of flack from that. But if you're doing it from, like, at a store or something, yeah, you have to cook the flour ahead of time before mixing it, um, and they do it without eggs or some other substitute. And that's pretty much what they do. Uh, but yeah, now a lot of these cookie dough places are just like ice cream shops. Instead of it being ice cream, it's just cookie dough. And they'll scoop it out and even put it on cones and stuff, some of them. Uh, hello, new person watching on You Now. Hello. So we're doing a You Now broadcast and a YouTube broadcast and also Twitch and Periscope and uh, all those other fun stuff. So if you're watching, I'm reading more comments on YouTube, but also on You Now. Uh, yeah, so oh, I just got an email just now, right? I'm not talking about VidCon and the after parties. I just got a, an email to another after party, which I've already been invited to by a different company. So I'm already going. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know I've been getting emails. Uh, that's the fun part. After you've been to a couple of these, uh, you start getting invites and it makes you feel special, even though we're all just the same. But uh, I have to eat some more of this. I'm sorry, people. Mm. How do you get as popular as me? I don't think I'm that popular. <laughs> Make fun foods. <laughs> Everyone loves fun foods, right? Make something fun. Um, it is hard, I have to admit. I've been doing this for a long time. And I'm nowhere near as popular as I think I should be on YouTube. But... Um, you know, it is one of those things. It's tough on YouTube. It's tough to gain. There's a lot of people on YouTube now. When I first started, there wasn't as many. And I did, I just did um, videos I enjoy doing. And then at one point in time, it's kind of grown to this. It's, it's grown where, you know, I have a little bit of a following and I enjoy doing it. So I keep doing it. And that's why I, I enjoy making these videos. I enjoy coming on here on Tuesday nights and doing these live streams, even though I know the recipes I do on the live streams are very basic. And it's done that way just because it's hard to do a full-scale uh, video, recipe video, when 
I have to worry about all the technological stuff that goes involved and I'm not technologically involved myself. So, um, yeah, it's, it, it is fun. It, it's a fun thing. Um, a couple of years ago I did my Facebook video, my Facebook page took off and did well. Um, I got lucky with a couple of videos that kind of went viral. So that was awesome. Uh, let me see if I can get back to the comments. Did you see Red Ready Player One? I did not know. Uh, if the strawberry sauce was nice, uh, the dark sauce would be divine. I believe you, Hannah. I think it would be. Maybe I'll do that on the other one. Might give that a shot. Should I try that? Should I try the, the chocolate sauce on the other one? I have chocolate sauce. That looks good. Um, you should make Mountain Dew pudding and Mountain Dew Pop Rocks. Ooh, see, I don't know how to make Pop Rocks, but I would have to figure that out. But Mountain Dew pudding, that, that is doable, and a couple people have mentioned that, and I should be able to do that somehow. I'd love to go to one. Uh, oh, maybe next year, the like um, VidCons or all that. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun thing to go to. You have like tons of fans and friends. Oh, thank you. I I am glad people enjoy what I do. Um, you know, I'm I'm just thrilled whenever people you know join and talk, and I have a lot of fun. <clears throat> uh, you're amazing, and I think you should continue. <laughs> thank you, Shannon Kane. Thank you, uh, Paula says you're a cutie. Thank you. I appreciate that. What is your favorite flavor of Mountain Dew besides the regular one? I would say probably Code Red. So that would be my favorite one besides the regular one. Uh, make Blueberry Shortcake. Yeah, I could do that, Ricky. Uh, it's pretty simple, similar to that. I would say probably the same, just using blueberries. Joseph like Code Red. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You like Code Red, Joseph. Uh, oh, well, oh, she's answering Joseph's question. Got it. Um, you should make Mountain Dew cookies. I have made Mountain Dew cookies once before, yes. Um, yep, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> yep, hello, new person on you now. <laughs> uh, so you now is something I don't use very often, but, you know, I just figured I'd get on there since I can use the OBS software and go on you now, Periscope, Twitch. I can do all those things all at once, and um, I'm going to try to angle that a little better. Uh, so let's, what do you say we should do one with chocolate sauce? Hannah suggested I make one with chocolate sauce. I have one already made. Mm-hmm. Well, we can make this one chocolate sauce. Oh, make Code Red cookies. <clears throat> uh, Joseph says loves Mountain Dew Code Red, Mountain Dew Pitch Black, and Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Yes. There are, uh, can you make cheesecake one day? Oh, awesome. Good suggestion. RC family over on, uh, on you now. Thank you. Uh, can I make cheesecake? I have made a couple different cheesecakes. I've made Mountain Dew cheesecake. I've made Reese's peanut butter cup cheesecake, which is really good. The Reese's, Reese's one, mm, the best by far. And, uh, I don't think I made just a regular cheesecake. I haven't done that yet. Um, maybe I should. Maybe we should do that. So we have this other strawberry shortcake here. And Hannah has suggested I pour chocolate sauce on it and eat it that way. Because our other one, which is kind of butchered up right now because I've been eating away at it, has strawberry sauce I put on it. But we got to do one with chocolate sauce for sure. Right, Hannah? So we'll do one with chocolate sauce. And here we go. We'll do that. Let me grab the chocolate sauce out of the refrigerator. Shake it up a little bit. Make code red gummy bears. <laughs> Make a wedding cake. See, that's something, that's a good suggestion on the wedding cake. Uh, excuse me. I have made, I haven't made code red gummy bears, but I made regular gummy, or Mountain Dew gummy bears. Um, I have never made a wedding cake, and I should. I should make a wedding cake and uh, I should make something fun too, not just like a normal wedding cake, like something really, really fun. But I would like it to be like as like a secondary wedding cake for maybe a friend or something if a friend was getting married. 
Um, not like their main one, just in case I mess it up. I don't want that responsibility. Um, but, you know, just um, as a secondary cake, just for fun, like something fun to make. I don't know. It'd have to fit their personality, you know. I don't know. So what do you say we pour this chocolate sauce on here? Let me angle my cameras down so you can see as I'm pouring the chocolate sauce on our last strawberry shortcake. And I'm just using regular old Hershey chocolate sauce because why not? Mm. All right, so hopefully it doesn't drizzle as much. Okay, good, it's a lot slower, I like that. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. Cannot wait to try that. So, let me get to the comments. Um, Make Mountain Dew saltwater taffy. <laughs> I met a couple in Disney named Carl and Ellie. Awesome. And let's let's cut up our now chocolate sauce drizzled strawberry shortcake and see how that tastes because it has chocolate on it. I love chocolate, so can't go wrong with chocolate. Uh, shout out Julian. Who's Julian? <laughs> Not your average athlete, is that? All right, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna smear this in some of that chocolate sauce some more, making sure I get some of that strawberries. Mm. Here we go. Guess you wanna watch me eat it, right? <laughs> Here, we'll angle that back up. Let's angle that back up. Okay, so let me get, here we go. <laughs> hey, Mountain Dew is awesome. I love the name, by the way. Yeah. Uh, you should definitely, types of ice cream. You should definitely, uh, different types of ice cream. Yep. Uh, Paula says you're good. Thank you. Mint leaf, yeah, mint leaf would be nice to look at. <laughs> it's all for aesthetic purposes, but here we go. Let's try this. Mm. <laughs> Joseph, I've just seen your comment where I was eating. Make Mountain Dew toothpaste. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> it might sell pretty well, though. That's That's the funny thing. So Mountain Dew Company needs to take notice. Oh, and I saw a video today. Somebody had made a video, just a just a YouTube video somebody made, and they were sponsored by Mountain Dew. And I'm like, how do they get sponsored? I never get sponsored. <laughs> Mountain Dew never contacts me. Uh, <laughs> crushed nuts on there. Yeah, that would be okay. Um, I guess, well, with the chocolate sauce, it isn't exactly low calorie either, but... Um, <laughs> But yeah, but this is just a simple, super easy recipe. And like I said, you can make your own sponge cake if you want. <laughs> Bacon Cat says, no, I'm late. It's okay. And I'll go through it again real quick how to make this because I got extras. And I've used my last one for show. Mmm. <laughs> What are stream twice at once? Yes, I am streaming twice at once. I'm actually on this camera. I'm streaming to YouTube, just YouTube only. On this camera over here, I'm streaming to you now, Periscope, and Twitch all at the same time. So, yep. <laughs> mm, chocolate ice cream instead of Cool Whip. That would be good. The Cool Whip was the thing that makes it um, less calories. <laughs> that was kind of like the way I was going there. But um, yeah, chocolate ice cream. If you don't care about the calories, go for it. Joseph says, uh, do now, Mountain Dew Now and Laters. I love Mountain uh, Mountain Laters. I love Now and Laters. I used to love them as kids. So sorry I'm just stuffing my face on camera, but it's good. 
Yep. And since the strawberries, it's healthy. <laughs> right? <laughs> nice. So we'll definitely finish that off later. Make Mountain Dew Oreos. Guess what? I am planning on making Mountain Dew Oreos. It might be up this Saturday. It depends on if I can make it. I haven't made it yet. So we have to see if it works out. <laughs> it may not work out. If it doesn't work out, then the video won't be up this Saturday. It'll be something else. But, yeah. I do plan on doing Mountain Dew Oreos. <laughs> I am making a big mess. <laughs> Make Mountain Dew M&M's. That would be something. Let me clean up a little. Okay, let's get to constructing one more of these. So we're gonna we're gonna make this one more time because it's so simple and easy that we can do this. Hey James, how are you doing, my brother? Hey jo Joseph, how are you doing? So we're gonna make another one of these because it's just so easy to do and everyone's here and some people came in late so I want them to be able to see how to make it. Like I said, first we're going to start off with these are just yellow sponge cake. These are tasty cake. I bought them in the store. You can make your own if you'd like, but it's about 100 calories just for that. Next, well, I'm going out of order. Let me try it again. Next, we're going to take some strawberries that I've already cut up, and we're going to put those right in the middle. There's like a little indent there. You want to put those in there, and you can put as much as you like, much or as little as you like. Um, and you don't have to cut them up as small as I did, but I like them cut up bite size, nice and small, just to make things easier. And... Um, and like I said, we have done this a couple different ways on here now. We have also put strawberry sauce on one and we did chocolate sauce on another. Now at this point, you can put your Cool Whip on. You can literally just take a spoon and dollop some on there. But I have some in a piping bag because we got to make it look good, right? Let's just push that down in there. I'm just going to use all this up because this is the last one I'm making tonight. There we go. And if you want for purposes to make it look good, you can put a strawberry on top. And there you go. That is your strawberry shortcake. Super easy. It would have taken me like 30 seconds to do if I wasn't demonstrating everything. That's how easy it is. Um, binge watching a lot of your older videos, uh, I have to say, you have come so far. Thank you so much. I, yeah, I know, um, I try to tell people all the time. Let me get back up to here. So many people come to me or write to me and say, you know, hey, how do I get to do this or that? I tell them all the time to just do it because, um, you'll get better in time. If you look at some of my older videos, I didn't know what I was doing. I was like fumbling through. You know, you learn. You learn by doing things. And uh, that's how you learn. Practice, right? Um, let me get back to some of the other comments. Is this channel rated TVY? I don't know what Y stands for, but I would say it's G. I don't do any uh, bad language or anything like that. So I would rate it you know, definitely good, <laughs> whatever that is. Uh, unless Y stands for Mountain Dew, then it definitely is. <laughs> Mountain Dew coffee, <laughs> that would be interesting. Um, so where are you from, Paula? Are you from the U.S.? Uh, with that last name, I would imagine you're from somewhere else, but I don't know how to pronounce that name. I wish I could, though. <laughs> Make Mountain Dew Italian ice. That's a good one. Um, Michaela? The Aussie, yeah, is watching. Okay. <laughs> uh, interesting name. I won't say that because I'm also broadcasting live on YouTube and uh, my channel is family friendly. So on you now, somebody came on with a very interesting name. 
But this is what we made, guys. We made this is strawberry shortcake. It's just a simple recipe. Simple, simple, simple. <clears throat> so, yep. Um, let me get back to the comments. Uh, I know you made Mountain Dew ice cream. Italian ice sounds good. It does sound good. Yes, Mountain Dew beer, maybe. I like beer if they had it in flavor. Mountain Dew beer, that'd be good for like St. Patrick's Day, right? <clears throat> Make Mountain Dew beer. Uh, why don't you put Mountain Dew in Cool Whip and use it um, strawberry short? I could do something like that. Definitely could. Looks so good. Thank you, Shannon. Uh, genius, Paula says. Uh, how long are you going to be live for? I'm going to be ending this very shortly, um, but I just wanted to come on. Let's I said it's a very short video. Next week, like I said, it'll be a live. Oh, from Sweden. Yeah, so I, I think I guessed it right, right? Sweden. Awesome. Uh, Mountain Dew is soda, yes. Um, I will be doing a live if I can next week. It's going to be from California because I will be at VidCon. Uh, even though VidCon technically doesn't start until Wednesday or Thursday, but I'll be leaving on Tuesday. It'll be a travel day, so hopefully I can get it done, and I'll either live stream from my phone or my laptop. Either way, it won't be the same type of thing, so I obviously won't be cooking something. I won't be making anything. Uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely... Uh, hello, D663434. Welcome. Uh... Liz Guest. I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, so, hello. Love the little cheeseburger thing you gave. If you have a free spin, use that over there on YouNow. They have a thing, on, in case you don't know, on YouNow, they have a thing called free spin. They can click the free spin, and it will give, like, bars or points or whatever to someone. It's just an interesting little thing. Uh, everyone gets one a day. So, every day they get a free spin. Um, I love the little hamburger and taco over there. <laughs> Uh, I'm from South Carolina, so Micah, Micah Ross says from South Carolina. I'm from Maryland, U.S., in the United States. <laughs> and Mountain Dew Laffy Taffy. Fun foods made with things found on an airplane. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. Uh, live stream from the airplane with like just things, you know, the crackers they give you or something like that. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Hello, hello. So yeah, so darkest or dark the darkness kid. Okay, interesting. But yeah, we're gonna be ending this soon. So I just wanted to thank everyone for coming on. If you came on on YouTube, thank you so much. If you came on you now or Periscope or Twitch, thank you. As always, I put up new videos every Sunday. I do a regular video at two o'clock. Every Saturday I do a Mountain Dew video, and every Tuesday night I do a live stream. And if I have another type of video, I'll put that up on a Thursday. And since I'll be going to VidCon, I'm sure I'll have a travel vlog or something coming up on a Thursday, the following Thursday. Um, because why not, right? Maybe next Thursday. Or not this, not like in a couple days, but a week from this Thursday, we'll say. I might have a video. We'll see about Mountain Dew Fritos. So this is what we made, guys. We made this uh, strawberry shortcake. Very simple. We really didn't make anything. We put it together is what we did. We constructed it. But it was a lot of fun. It's a low-calorie dessert. You can make it very calorie full if you want. But as always, if you know somebody who would like to watch my videos, please share it with them because I am so close to the 100,000 uh, subscriber mark. And I really want to get there, hopefully by VidCon. We'll see. Uh, so if you know anyone who would like to watch my videos, share it with them. Um, encourage them to subscribe and watch the videos as well. And as always, check out some videos I have off to the side. And hit that big red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed because we love having you. Strawberry shortcake, so simple and easy. Uh, if you came on late, sorry. You can always re-watch this back and on YouTube at Fun Foods. Check it out. You can see the whole video on there. Um, watch the whole thing and... You know, that's it. Hopefully I have, everyone has a good week. I like your videos of Mountain Dew ice cream. Thank you, Micah. Mountain Dew graham crackers. <laughs> uh, so thank you all so much for coming on and joining me for about 45 minutes. I really appreciate that. Hopefully you have a good week. If you're at VidCon next week, I'll see you there. If not, I will try to do a live. And that's it. Goodbye. <laughs>